and I'll forget about that. <laughs> um, okay. What test time? Mm -hmm. um, so, tell me then, Ben. Pretend this is our test day. Yeah. Talk me through what you know about the driving test and what happens beforehand and during it. Uh, it. We have you show me and tell me questions. Okay. Before we get there, we haven't even got to the test centre yet. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> test day, we have these really ambiguous times, that's like 7 minutes past 9 and 11.32. Yeah. And uh, basically get to the test centre no more than 5 minutes, we'll get there for more, no for more than 5 minutes before. Mm -hmm. We go to the test centre, reverse bay parking, so you're ready to go no, you can drive out. Yeah. Now, um, I don't know what the rules are, um, but normally you go into the waiting room if it's still around, or just wait in your car. Yeah. And magically, at the 7 minutes past 9 or 11 minutes past 11, um, out pop all the driving examiners. Used to be six at a time. Yeah. Um, there might be more if they get the instructors on hand. Very. Anyway, you all yeah. come up at the same time, call your name out, and go, Ben, yeah, yeah, over here. Go over to their table, or they direct you to a table. Yeah. And they ask you to sell your driving license. Yeah. Just have a little cursory trip, making sure it's you is who is on there. And you'd be surprised yeah. to me, people uh, try and impersonate someone else to do a driving <laughs> test. It's quite a serious offence. They take it quite seriously as well, understandably. Yeah. And um, ask to sign a couple of things that the car they're presenting or presenting is insured for you. Yes, it is, of course. Yeah. Um, okay. And they say, well, make your way. Which one's your car? Make your way outside. Which one's your car? You go, oh, that one over there. Okay, can you read the number plate there? And it'll be at 20 meters, 25, 20, yeah. 20.5 meters. And just make sure your eyesight's up to check, <laughs> up to speed. And I think well, the last full year they had, 850 people failed at that stage <laughs> for eyesight tests. So that'd be pretty, that's why we test it at the beginning, because yeah, it'd, yeah. Be, it'd be pretty <laughs> bad, wouldn't it, if you haven't tested your Go eyesight. the whole thing and suddenly you can't yeah. actually see. So you're right. So you're absolutely right. You're talking about show me, tell me questions. Yeah. Oh, we'll go on to that. So, you take taken to the car and say, please jump in. The driver the examiner will walk around the car, look for anything that's very obviously wrong. Yeah, yeah. would fail the MOT, vary its tyres or broken light or anything like that, crack windscreen. Um, jump in the car and they'll say to you, okay then, Ben, um, about to do our driving test now. Um, would you like me to explain what's going to happen? And yeah. invariably, so you say yes, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's time to compose yourself. And so yeah. we'll, we'll be driving for about forty minutes today, and we'll have an independent section, and they'll probably tell you there if we're going to follow the sat nav or the board signs. Yeah. We're going to do board signs today, by the way. Okay. Um, okay. And outside the independent section, uh, you just follow. Please just follow the road ahead at all times, unless board signs. Uh, signs or my directions tell yeah. you otherwise. Okay, we will be doing pulling over a number of times. We may even do a, a controlled stop and we'll be doing manoeuvring that time. Yes. Are you okay with that? And you go, yeah, it's fine. Brilliant. So then, out comes your uh, yeah. tell me question. Yeah. And that is a really good way of first impressions count. Yeah. Now, you're only going to pick up a minor. Do you know the difference between minor, serious and dangerous faults? Uh, and do you know what your score is you're allowed? I think it's 16 minors or something like that. It's yeah, you're allowed... A minor is a driver... It's not called a minor, it's a driver... It's literally a driver error. Yeah, it's something wasn't quite right, but it wasn't dangerous. It wasn't quite right, but absolutely or serious or dangerous. Yeah, and as if maybe if you missed the mirror check or... Yeah. You stalled, for instance. Well, no, it's a clutch fault. Yeah. Uh, coming a bit too fast, where it wasn't might not have been dangerous, nothing around us, but you know, it might be a fault or whatever it is, you know, yeah. or might move off in second gear rather than first. It's a gear fault, and there's a whole list of them there on the DL25 form, as it used to be called. Um, I'll, I'll send you a copy of that. Mm -hmm. um, on the back of that form, which I'll send you a copy of, it tells you exactly what they look, what good looks like, yeah, and what, 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 what faults look like. So it's quite a good idea if you go look at the back of your driver. Was I doing this? Am I doing that? Am I yeah. doing this? It's a good. It's a good way, just the ready reckoner of um, mm. just reminding yourself how far you've come. Actually, more than anything else. Now, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You just said fifteen of those. Yeah. Well, nobody fails of nobody. Very, very rarely would anyone fail of sixteen 
Like miners. Pretty much a miner every two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but because, I mean, my average is about 2.3 mi- uh, faults. Yeah. Pass or fail. People do fail. Of course they do. People get nervous and everything like that. Um, if you have five or more in the same area, yeah. You don't get to 16. People kind of have the same thing over and over again. There's, there's obviously a fault in their driving. The fact that they've been allowed to go to test at that stage is questionable. Why Why would someone let someone test if they're clearly yeah. not hmm. checking their mirrors or whatever it is? Um, it gets promoted to a serious fault. Mm-hmm. Now, a serious fault is something potentially that would cause um, danger uh, or danger to is it's a quite lengthy word but basically it's danger to yourself other road users people's property yeah and a dangerous fault is when it was about to do that yeah so if you change lane without checking your mirror right down there that's a dangerous okay fault. that's a serious yeah. if there's nothing there it's a serious fault because it could have been a car if that car's there it's dangerous yeah one way or another one of those you're out yeah you're not allowed a serious fault aren't they nowadays take them straight back as well after one of them absolutely right since yeah. uh, the covid times you 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 your test could do now that is quite uh, it's quite annoying in a lot of ways for, for myself as a driving um instructor because yeah a number of people will be nervous on test day there's nothing you can do about it yeah you can prepare yourself you know if you, you, know, you get more confident you are great but it's the way it is when i do my standards check i feel nervous the day before on this it's just the way it is yeah. um invariably if you do a mistake it's going to happen in the first five six minutes of your driving test yeah. now in the good old days you might say go out to the roundabout there just pulled out oh look i've gone and done you know what you've done wrong the test carried on for another 40 minutes you probably did drove perfectly for the rest of it because you relaxed a bit and thought yeah you know you drove back so i'm really sorry you know what happened don't yeah the roundabout at the beginning yeah, yeah. And then things, hang on a minute, if it wasn't for that one roundabout, I've drove perfectly well, I'm at, I could have done this. So, yeah. you go, so people then go back, like two or three weeks later, nail it straight through. Fortunately now, it's five minutes you fail. If you oh, I'm a failure, I can't do the driving test. Yeah. And it's really detrimental for people that are going to be like that. Yeah. It's not great, but we have to, we just have to cut our cloth to, whatever the phrase is, mm-hmm. uh, to fit. Um... So that's it, really. Yeah. Don't do. So basically, you got to drive for forty minutes. The other way of thinking of a serious fault or a dangerous fault is don't do anything or make anyone else unnecessarily do a change of speed or direction because of you. Yeah. Either pulling out or dawdling along or holding them up or having this break because of you. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to test mode in a minute. So that's a whole brief about yeah. what's going to happen. Um. Don't worry about me making notes, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, it might be because of a fault, it might be because of something good, it might just be something interesting to talk about as the discussion yeah. point there. Now, because you're not a full license holder, I'm still under my supervision, Yeah. Um, I might not be writing down, it might be something that happened 10 minutes ago. Okay. Because I still keep, yeah. can keep control of the car as the, uh, as the person legally responsible for us. I don't find a bank page. <laughs> it's more of a struggle, isn't it? So you don't even worry about me. Yeah. My job is to judge you, so don't judge yourself. Mm-hmm. And um, we'll try and keep it. Ah, oh, there we go. It's a blank page. We'll try and keep it as realistic as possible. Yeah. And uh, the other thing, that, what might startle you, is when we drive over or any other lesson, if you've got a fault developing, yeah, and I think you've haven't seen it or you've underestimated it, we always try, always try and jump in verbally first of all, see if we can with instruction yeah can you do something about it and on the driving test and the mock you're not going to have that yeah I'm going to let it go until it and jump in it until back. it becomes a serious yeah. I might have to grab that wheel or take the brake so that is a little bit different yeah now because I have been trying to push it and make it more independent I'm hoping it's not a big leap up okay we've yeah. got to the stage where we've moved on from prompt and se- prompting seldom prompting to um, you as independents, but yeah. just do you do them or just watch out? I'm not, don't be prepared for me to, even subconsciously, if it also goes wrong, I'll, I'll give you some verbals to try and keep us safe and yeah. make it out. That's not going to happen, so it's, it's going to be a little bit more abrupt if I do have to take into, I'm, I'll, I'll be taking intervention more physically than yes. verbally. The driving exam may take verbally, no, you stop there, move forward, yeah. but more likely you're not going to have as much help. As yeah. before, so just bear that in mind. 
and um, we will we'll start the, we'll start the test. Are you happy with okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Have to proceed. Okay. Proceed, <laughs> Okay then, Ben. Um, can you tell me how would you know the tyres are safe and legal for the journey you're about to do? Uh, it would be the tread on the tyres have like a mark on them. It's the one that's okay. Of the tread. Do you know what that depth is? I want to say it's three, three millimetres as well. Okay. Anything else you have got to ask? Uh, if they're, well, if you tried to smooth, then mm -hmm. it would be clear that they're... Okay. Yeah, okay. No problem at all. Okay, so we're going to be driving for 40 minutes then, mm -hmm. Ben. And um, we're going to do an independent driving section for about 20 minutes. And today we're going to be following board signs. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do a manoeuvre today. But as part of the mock, it's fine. Um, just saying, just follow the road. We're not, we're not giving you the board signs. Yeah. Um, just follow the road ahead. Mm -hmm. Unless I tell you otherwise, all signs, paint, tell you otherwise yeah. as well. Okay, so when you're ready, and it's safe to do so, mm -hmm. let's please move on. safe to do so. Pull over on the left hand side please. When it's safe to do so, move off them, please. Roundabout. Uh, follow the signs all through routes, please. Okay. We're doing an independent session at the beginning here. Yeah. Okay. signs to the town centre. I'll just drive for you very much. But well, they're quite good at picking up on that, but they've got little feelers out of them. 
back into Rome. Change your board signs, I'd like you to follow the signs to call in Stanford.
bald side again and we'll follow the signs to the town centre once we get Keep going, please. Following signs the hospital.
Come on, just go. Why, did, what, what happened? To, why did you stop? Because I didn't get enough gas, I was too high up on the freeway. Is that the reason? Yeah. Really? What gear did you move off in? Probably third. You don't know? the end of your independence section, I'll follow, just follow my bold sign, uh, follow my directions, yeah. and just keep on going ahead unless I tell you uh, otherwise, or the signs do it otherwise. Yeah.
gone yeah. plenty of times, though, haven't you?
Don't go in that pothole. Okay, just check it's all right, just do a big U. That's all we tried to do last time, wasn't it? Yeah. It's the easiest way, isn't it? The easiest way is going the best way, I think. Two or three faults? Well, probably about four or five. Really? Quite a few. It was, it was actually riddled with mistakes. Okay. Absolutely not. What you would not have had a hope in hell. Right. One or two mistakes. Should we go through chronologically? Yeah, okay. Okay, um, tyres is 1.6 millimetres, and the thing you forget about is cuts and bulges on the outside of the little right, okay. minor point tyres. It's a nice way of making a first impression, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you pulled over, I gave you a minor, you pulled over. Um, you didn't signal to pull over, right? Yeah. And um, you stalled the car as well. Yeah. The brake came off the clutch. Do you notice how clunky you're? Just generally how? Yeah. Right. Boom. I was clutch yeah, going down panicking, the panicking, panicking, yeah, yeah. Really. Um, you would have got serious faults. Accumul. You you would have got accumulated mirror checks all over the place. Yeah. You watch it back. I counted seven. Yeah. Minor fault. As minor faults. Okay. Mirror checks. Every traffic light staring ahead, not looking in the mirrors whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So you'd have got seven, you would have failed it on your mirror checks alone. Yeah. So that's not where we want it at all, I'm afraid. Um, missed a lot of signals. Powering down. Um, going through there. Um, yeah. Um, London Road, we turn right, we stalled. Yeah. Okay, you start up again. And then a lot of hesitation mm. as well. So a hesitation there, stalled on there. Um, there was another stall further on at the traffic lights down yeah. there. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I would have, you know where you turned right? I said, right, go yeah. on going through. Well, that's a serious fault. What was the traffic lights doing? They were on red, yeah. No, they weren't. They're not coloured. No, it was on green with a filter light. Sorry, yeah. And we, you stopped. Yeah, we could go right, sorry. Yeah, so we had priority and you stopped. Yeah. Because this car coming down there thinking he's going to cut. He, he's likely to be on red. He's on red, yeah. You would have stopped that car coming through. I told you the move on, I can't be doing that there. That's not making progress. Yeah. If you fail to read, that's. So that's a serious fault alone in that, um, basically, on the observation. Yeah. On that. Um, what have you got down here? Um, yeah. Um, Observation. Yeah, so that observation, the junction there, was of course you should have pulled it in front of a car. Yeah, that one. Mm. I, I, That's a serious fault. I don't know, I thought somebody was a blocker or something. I don't know why I thought. Well, that. the car's just pulling straight out. You, yeah. weren't, you weren't looking to the right. You decided you wanted to go, but oh, it's okay down there. You wanted to go, you did not look. Look back on this when I send it to you. Look where you're looking. Yeah. You're not looking in the right place. You'll learn a lot from this. <laughs> um, not many people pass that pass test, by the way. Yeah, I think I was very, I don't know. Did it feel different there driving? Was, there was, yeah. It was, doesn't it? I got too focused almost on where I was going that I then missed out of the Absolutely, yeah. yeah. 
and it felt very nervous so overall. You yeah. Suddenly just, your driving just changed. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, it almost like goes back, like almost like a couple of months back. Yeah. Uh, it happens, you see. So as soon as it's like, oh, doing this and doing that and doing that, as soon as it's like, not much, not much coming out of me. Go here, go there, go there. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. So we've got a serious fault for that car there. Yeah. Um, we've got the accumulation, two serious faults. Third serious fault, we just stopped at that field light, just looking at a green light. Yeah. And the field light, we should have gone. Um, nearly caused a lot of problem there when we stalled the car. The car was rolling, we went boom on the brake. We yeah. were that close to being hit Somebody from behind. Somebody else would have come up, yeah. Who was behind? Did yeah. you see? Yeah, I did. So, I don't know why I suddenly stopped Yeah, that. well, you yeah. just reacted to it like that. And this, again, this is not a reaction we want from a stall. No. You stalled the car. Get over it. Yeah. Um, so we were actually lucky there that we weren't rear-ended. Yes, okay. And I can't undo that, can I? No. But this is reaction to everything like this. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's got to be... Just got to take a breath on this one here. Um, at the roundabout, we're in up under towards the hospital. Yeah. I gave you a minor there. You kind of right around the outside. You picked the right lane, which is great, around the outside. But you still drifted over. Yes. You were, on the, you were in your lane. You're just creeping over there. And there wasn't a car there. But if, if there had been the car there, it would be serious. another serious yeah. fault again. Um, traffic lights coming up the hill. Mirror check. Yeah. Mirror. I think one you did, one you didn't. Um, there's no mirror check coming into the roundabout. We're just looking at what's going on here, then slowing it down. Yeah. You're so focused on what's going on, you're not going, you, your whole routine's just dropping down. Um, gypsy Lane, the signal cancelled. You didn't pick up on the fact that it cancelled and put it back on for turning right. Mm. Um, yeah, mirror check coming into Gypsy Lane. Oh, where's he going down there? Oh, here he is. There. Again, you lost your mirror checks. Yeah. Um, so your routine just going out of the window there. Um, we had three cars. You had you had so much chance of getting across there. Yeah, I, I was thinking. I don't know why I thought. I was counting one up. We had ten seconds. Yeah, we had so much time. Two seconds to get across. So yeah, you had three of them. You had cars behind, so you'd stop making their progress. So that would have been presented mm. as possibly. It, yeah. harsh. it would have been a harsh, no, a harsh series, one, but, but yeah. at this stage, you know, one, two, three. I mean, I'm going to mark you harshly. Yeah, that would be a serious on there. Um, coming down the slip road, that Ray, 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 wait, that mini roundabout before we got on there was a car. I don't even notice it's a white Fiesta to your right hand side, uh, turning what? right. I don't know if you checked your mirrors or not, but you kept him there. If you'd gone across there, I was getting very close to grab that wheel, but because you get that really nice shape around right. that little mini roundabout down to the A14, yes. there was a car. Going on the cobbles to get around you there. Okay. But brilliant. But I, was, I, I, don't know, I don't know if you're aware of yeah. it or not, but it was the right shape was perfect. That okay. was great. I thought, oh, that's a really good sign. So that's really good. Um, and that's, it's easy, easy to straighten the roundabout, as you as we know. Um, I, I, you went into the rumble strip of the lane going down there because you're focusing yeah. on what's going on. It's a, it's, a, it's a minor. You didn't cross it. Yeah. If you crossed it, that's serious because you crossed the solid line. Yes. Okay. And a minor. Just because of yeah. that. Um, confused by the board signs because they go to the next junction. You try yeah, to I then tried to go services. Yeah. But again, you just left the signal on. So then it developed into something potentially serious. Yeah, if I'd have just taken it off when I realised yeah, my mistake, I would have been fine. Okay, yeah. oh, just shit. No. Oh, even a reminder for that. Everyone makes the. Oh, okay, yeah. Where is it? But because you left it on. Yes. Again, it's one of those things of a car be coming up there. Could have been confused. Could have been quite confusing. Yeah. Um, it could have been a serious fault because you're literally saying you're turning off, you're going straight for them, they're coming down there. So you've got to watch out these things. So you can see all these little things and developing things very, very quickly. Yeah. And the roundabout there, we didn't signal, you didn't signal off that lane to go around, uh, yeah. around the thing there. So a lot of signal, one, two, three, four or five signal faults. All really avoidable ones. All yeah. really avoidable. All the mirror checks, really yeah. avoidable. Um, bit more nervous you felt because of it that's why it's a bit more clunky and that's why the stalling started happening yeah. because of that yeah it now, say the, relaxing it, when we, I would have dropped quite a few yeah. minors if I relax yeah. we need to get this to like two minors yeah that's not obviously it's not two minors yes do people pass them first mock test probably not no. no not really and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a it is consciously or subconsciously you're suddenly going from someone giving me some guidance what are you going to do here because a lot of time we say well how are you going to approach this what are you thinking about that yeah it's it's weird and now it's like that. this is where you focus oh, shit. then you, you start focus. doubting yourself have yeah. i missed something yeah. or something yeah. yeah so um i'm going to drive back today 
Okay, yeah. Because it's always a bit of a mock, it's always a bit I of a chop. I managed to preheat your key when we were trying mm. to do it. Mm. I don't know how. Mm. Mm. It looks like a spring. It does look like a spring. Oh, sugar. To you, apologise. You've taken, is it going to be turnable in the lock? Yeah, no, it turns. It oh, did it when it? I tried to turn it back on. Uh, okay. I'll work a way of doing that, but I need that for the dongle to keep the kids. Can we work that up? 